Let's jump right in because I have a lot of trolls to do. Today I will be making a detachable headdress. I'm using synthetic braiding hair to add into the troll's hair. One of my favorite brands in braiding hair is Rasta Fry. Some of the trolls I utilize the wire, mostly in the bigger trolls. In the smaller trolls, I just added the synthetic hair at the base and then hairsprayed everything into place. Rastafry has amazing colors in all different ranges from natural to fun colors. And it is a nice thick bag of hair. I'm kind of obsessed with the tiny little baby trolls I got. Now that all the trolls are styled, we're going to add them into a headpiece. To make this headdress more whimsical, I'm adding moss, butterflies, bees, ladybugs, and tiny little mushrooms. I decided I was gonna utilize a headpiece I had made a few years back. I made this gorgeous green butterfly headdress on top of a mini hat. For my headdress to work today, I'm gonna be adding a few extra pieces at the bottom. I will be adding these pre-made hat frames at the base. Before I add the hat frames to the base, I'm going to add a horsehair mesh to the base of the hat frame. This will help the performer or whoever is wearing the headdress to be able to secure it to their own hair or a wig. This is what the finished base looks like. I've covered all stitching and glue with a felt covering. This ensures that it's smooth to the touch so it's not uncomfortable for the wearer and also makes it look more complete. Now that the base of the frame is finished, we're gonna go ahead and start adding more wire structure to the form itself. This wire will help hold all the trolls weight and keep it nice and sturdy. Now comes the fun part, placing the trolls. In the beginning, I didn't have an exact placement for each troll. I kind of just did it with what looked best in the piece. Then it's time to add all the extra little goodies. This is the part where it starts to look really whimsical. I'm adding extra butterflies, I'm adding moss. This will help fill in any gaps and hide any wires. Now to add the mushrooms, ladybugs, and bees. Here it is everyone, a whimsical troll headpiece. I've paired it with this gorgeous Noriko synthetic wig. It's the style Robin and it is a very high quality fiber. The headdress turned out so cute. I'm absolutely in love. The wig itself is actually teased at the base. 
it makes it look more natural instead of your regular hard front synthetic wig. The color of this wig is ginger brown. The Noriko brand of wig is absolutely gorgeous. I hope you had as much fun watching me build this headpiece as I did building it. If you are a wig enthusiast and you absolutely love seeing these fantasy wig builds, please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video.